Hey guys, Apollo here, and welcome to a Team Fortress 2 commentary. Today I'm going to be talking about the new update, Scream Fortress 2014, Scream Fortress 6, which was added into the game today. By logging in uh, on during the event, you can get a free Halloween gift uh, cauldron, and by opening that up, you get a strange haunted miscellaneous or hat, and two miscellaneous or hats as well. Uh, it's really awesome, the strange uh, haunted... Uh, thing that counts your miscellaneous or hat it counts your carnival kills your carnival games one and your carnival underworld kills so what they did in the team fortress 2 scream fortress 6 uh, update is they reskinned special delivery uh, doomsday uh, which is a game mode for doom for the map doomsday the only map in it is doomsday and they reskinned it added pumpkins added a whole bunch of carnival stuff and if you don't know how to play doomsday special delivery basically what you would do is you would grab the briefcase uh, which is similar to the one in Capture the Flag, and you would bring it over to the Doomsday platform, which is the big thing that goes up and which was a rocket, and you put it in there and you'd win. But this one, it's replaced with a ticket, and you have to grab the ticket. One team has to grab the ticket and bring it up the uh, strong man, which is basically like one of those things when you hit the hammer uh, off one of the button things, it like a bell shoots up and ca uh, like tells you how strong you are. But when both teams capture the uh, or when one of the teams captures the they win they put the ticket up to the top you get tel both teams get teleported into one of three random carnival games which this one right now that you're seeing is called collect the ducks which basically you have to collect 150 ducks from uh, on bo both team whichever team captures the, the, the most ducks which is 150 get to the limit uh, first win the carnival game and there's also spells that you can get uh, inside the carnival game as well which as you can see is the base jumper one here but uh, also you can also get reincarnated so let's say you get knocked off the map in this one or in any of them but most likely the one you would get knocked off in is falling platforms if you get knocked off in that you can you become a ghost but if you touch your teammate as a ghost you can become a go-karting dude again so which is called reincarnation and there's an achievement for it as well and uh, yeah, that's pretty sweet. There's three games, uh, the carnival games, which they added, which is Falling Platforms, Bumper Car Soccer, and Collect the Ducks. First, the one you're seeing that you just saw was Collect the Ducks, which you have to collect 150 ducks to win. This one right now is Bumper Car Soccer, which be, which you have to score three footballs into the goal, the soccer ball into the goal, and the first team to get to three wins, um, which is also pretty awesome as well. Uh, to be honest... Uh, about the update for the go-karts uh, in my opinion I, I actually really enjoy it I think it's really awesome um, the way they did it this year which it, they didn't actually have a boss they added in Marasmus again back from 2013 it was uh, so that they, they've gone two years now without a boss same with Helltower but the carnival thing the way it's, it's all done it's actually really cool and Marasmus is screaming at you and you hear the lines that he says really awesome as well exploding pumpkins and the whole uh, but they also added spells, which uh, the green spells, which are usually located like on the top of the platforms near them, uh, along the center of the the map, you can find them and you can use them. Which basically are the ones back from 2013, which like for like the small ones and throwing stuff, which is really cool. And there's also the purple ones, like the monoculus eye and fireballs, and going really small as well. And uh, this one that you're watching right now is falling platforms, and what you have to do in this one is there's a bunch of platforms one of them will turn green and yeah I'll have to go to that one and if you don't get to it, it the rest of them fall and you'll die um, but the main objective here is to knock off everyone off of the platforms and whichever team has people left on and the team that doesn't have the the dudes if everyone dies say blue team all die and they have zero people on it red team wins and uh, this one's really cool and difficult but and it's also if you press right click on while you're in the go-kart you can go really fast as well it helps knocking off people and if you fall down like I said you when you become a ghost you can fly back up and you can turn back into one of these by touching your dude uh, and there's also an achievement you get for doing all three uh, the carnival of uh, the Carnival of Carnage, bumper to bumper to bumper to bumper to bumper to bumper. Uh, that achievement, basically, when you get that one, how you get it is by winning all three game modes, the Collect the Ducks, Bumper Car Soccer, and Falling Platforms. If you win all three, then you get that achievement, and you get a free cauldron as well, which is a second cauldron, which that's what Valve are trying to do uh, in this update. They're trying to stop people from just 
coming in and getting the gifts and coming out and idling on a server and getting teleported, which they don't mind that they said in the blog post. But um, if uh, they want to encourage people to actually play and get the achievement, so I actually think it's a really good idea the way if you get the achievement, you get a second one. I think I get it here and I get a second cauldron. I'm not sure about a third cauldron. I have no idea if you can get one. And also in this game mode, horse, the headless horseless horseman dude, he spawns in, shows us how he's doing. Um, he comes in when, like, if people don't actually get, uh, like, they don't kill each other in a certain time limit. So yeah, you get the cauldron and you open it. But um, and you also get a strange haunted miscellaneous or hat, and and two other normal miscellaneous and hats. Um, so yeah. Basically, and when you do that, like for the, they, I don't know if you can get a third one. I'm not sure. Like I got another achievement, the one where you, uh, when thirty ghosts touch you and they revive themselves, I got that achievement, but I didn't get another cauldron. So I think it's just that achievement. Like that was the only one that said that you do get a, another cauldron. So I don't know how you're supposed to get more and gifts, but yeah, that's basically that. Um, so also there's the, for the only bugs that I've encountered is that one and I'll talk about that in a second but I want to talk about this the RIP the 10th class thing that I found on the map I just wanted to show that in the video thought that was a really cool idea by Valve no 10th class because everyone wanted one sometime a long time ago so yeah that was really cool as well and also you can spam de as, as demo man stickies on the control ticket thing which stops uh, people from getting the ticket on so you can get a, a quick tip and there's also a purple spell there which you can get which is also handy and there's also a ghost which goes around and spooks everyone that's there, which is also really cool. They implemented like things from past uh, updates, which is really cool. The ghosts and the marasmus and everything. But yeah, um, the collagen thing. Don't know how they're supposed to implement that and get you get more gifts. But the the gifts that you get now, that's really cool. Very nice of Valve to give you three uh, three hats and or miscellaneous items. Of course, they're all all the items that were added into this update are only usable during Halloween and full moon so get it out now and there's also the strongman which I did say which you bring up the cart there's also the necro masher which is a hand holding a mallet and if you stand on the red button which has a health pack on it for long enough the thing the hand will fly down and the hammer will hit and you go flying up and you can die from it as well and it is a really cool idea and there's also like shoot the idiot and the shoot the squirrel or the raccoon rampage or whatever it's called that's also really cool I don't know how that opens but I I tried testing it out but I don't know how it opens but I, yeah that's basically that um so yeah the reskin of the map looks really awesome the three uh kind of the strongman necromancer the whole thing the three carnival kills and the way they give you a strange one is really awesome but now onto the curses uh, basically there's three curses which you all do a taunt you get teleported in like the similar to the one where Marasmus teleported you in and taunted um, there's three curses you can get I, I'm almost positive there's three if there's not well I'm sorry but uh, yeah I think there is three one of them is the one you're seeing right now is low gravity and like which is like a balloon thing which it turns your heads big and uh, makes it low gravity the second one is it fills up the whole uh, map with water people are saying it was piss in the patch notes which uh, yeah possibly could be but uh, the whole place is water and you shoot in a wonder underwater battle for a few seconds uh, I think it's a minute I'm not sure and also the third one is the one where you all turn small and you all pull out your melee and you have a fight going ham with the ham shank uh, while you turn into a little p person and you get really fast and go beating people with a melee which is also really cool uh, so yeah that's basically my intake on the update I thought it was really cool 10 out of 10 love updates from Valve I haven't got one since summer so a uh, Halloween one is really cool hope you guys enjoy the video don't forget to subscribe to keep up to date with all of my TF2 videos uh, I'll be adding weekly and the the Halloween event that's my coverage uh, what you guys think of the map do you guys enjoy it what's your favorite carnival game leave in the comments below well, thanks for watching love you